Hey guys, BJ Posnecki back with another home improvement tip. So today I'm just going to go over for those of you that purchased a ceiling pre-wire box up in a uh, in the room ceiling. So with your light switches, depending on what you purchased and what you have uh, in this particular room, this switch will activate. We have can lights in here. Okay, the next switch that we have is for a switched outlet. So typically, on the adjacent side of the room where the switch is, there should be an outlet that has a black, that has a black Sharpie marker dot on it. That's to let you know that that is the switched outlet. So when you flip the switch on and off, it activates and controls just that right side of the outlet. The other side is always hot, so you can plug in you know, anything in there like a regular outlet. So uh, with the ceiling pre-wire, okay, and then the last switch that is on the wall will activate this uh, ceiling box up here on the ceiling. So typically you'll see this cover or a cover like this up on here. Sometimes you may have to take a razor knife and cut, you know, sometimes the paint will stick to the cover. So you may have to take a razor knife to, you know, um, break the bead of paint to get this cover off, but it just pushes, you know, it just pushes on and off. You know, you just pull it down and it has a little, uh, uh, you know, fitting that uh, pushes right up into this bracket right here. So, <clears throat> um, so typically you'll always have, you know, all, you'll always have a neutral. Usually the neutral wires will be lighter colors, white, grays, things of that nature. Now, the electricians really can use whatever color pattern they want, but typically the lighter colors will be a neutral, okay? And then brighter colors or black, red, um, purples, blues, oranges will be hot and or switched legs. So in this particular situation, the electrician, so we've got a neutral right here, and the electrician wired the purple and the orange to the switch. So both of these wires are switched. That can happen as it did in this situation. However, a lot of times you may run into where one of these wires, one or the other, is a hot. So it's always hot and the only time you can turn it off is at the circuit breaker. So in order to determine, you know, what is what, um, let's just say, you know, for this particular video, we want to figure out which one is the switched leg because we want to put in a light fixture or a ceiling fan is at any home improvement store, you can get, uh, this is just a voltage tester. Basically, when I put this on the hot and the neutral or a live wire in a neutral, this light in here will turn on. So we're gonna put, and it doesn't matter, red or black, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna put one lead on the neutral and then one on a hot wire. And as you'll see here, that light turns on, okay? So both of these are gonna turn on because I got the switch on. However, in order to differentiate, what you would do is turn your switches off at the wall and then put your tester on the neutral and both of these wires and one of them won't turn on and that's how you can tell which wire is the switched leg. So, for example, like, um, well, nowadays, a lot of the ceiling fans have remotes, so you don't need this switched leg anymore. It's there if you need it, but a lot of the ceiling fans that, you know, have the remote, you just need a hot wire and a neutral wire. However, let's say you don't want to, um, you know, put a ceiling fan up here. You want to put a uh, light fixture. Well, then you would just cap off the hot wire and just use the switched leg, and you can activate the light fixture from the switch on the wall. So if you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share it with uh, some of you think that may uh, find it useful. Thank you.